Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who is it that's thinking about you, okay? So we'll take a look and see who keeps, who keeps having thoughts of you cross their mind and, you know, what are their thoughts telling them? What is it that they may want to tell you? It is going to be a general reading here, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personal reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list you, I uh, will provide you with my email address just below the video, okay, where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see who is it that's constantly thinking about you. Okay, Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, but that's come out in reverse, guys. The Wheel of Fortune, the Seven of Pentacles, okay, Seven and Eight. Six, seven, and eight, three consecutive numbers. The seven of swords here. Okay. So let me begin this spread by saying it's not really over. Okay. For those of you who have recently separated, okay, or you've walked away, or someone he has walked away and disconnected with you, even though it feels like this is the end, even though it feels like you guys have closed the chapter, and you guys have walked away from one another, it's not over just yet, okay, I, I feel like this is more the ending of a chapter than the ending of your story, because let me tell you right now, and you may not see it, and it may be really hard for you, for some of you to actually believe this, because you feel as though, um, you've tried, okay, you feel as though you've put in so much of yourself, you've poured so much of your energy, your emotional, your mental, your spiritual, your physical energy, and you've given it your all, like there's nothing left for you to give, um, you felt like you've sacrificed so much, some of you have actually poured a lot of your financial resources into, you know, staying with, in this connection, you know, making it happen, so you've honestly you've given it your all, and there's nothing left for you to give, so a lot of you are probably going to find it very, um, very hard to believe this, you know, when I say that the universe here is, all, and it's very powerful, the universe is extremely powerful, and it's doing everything in its power to orchestrate a reconnection, to orchestrate a, un a reunion between you and this energy here, so even though it may feel over, it's not really over, and deep down inside, even if it's just a small part of you, still somehow believes this to be true, okay? Okay, this is someone whom I feel like you've started off very strong with this individual, you've started like very strong, an intense attraction, an intense connection here, this person felt as though they were flying high, like I feel like this person felt as though you've elevated them and they constantly felt they were addicted to you and they still are addicted to you. They felt like they were intoxicated on drugs. They felt like high all the time. It's, it was just this so good feeling they had whenever they were with you. Um, so you guys started off extremely strong, but then I feel like something's gotten in the way here. Okay, long story short, we come to the Eight of Cups and there is some sort of separation. There's some sort of disconnection here. There's some sort of um, like a walking away, they may, you guys may have rushed things, okay, you guys may have sort of rushed the process a little bit, and because you guys started so strong, um, I wonder if it was really overwhelming for some of you, but let me tell you, this person here still feels very much connected to you, okay, and this person is now, only now understanding that there are no shortcuts to love, so I feel like there's a lot that this person is now learning, and there's a lot that this person is now coming to terms with, um, the, the six of wands tells me that this person is moving back towards you, even though it is at a slower pace, I see that there will be contact, there will be communication, there will be a fated meeting between you and this soul, this energy here, so there's, 
I feel like there's a lot that they have taken away from this connection and especially the separation. Now, I feel like it was this person that walked away. He's strong water energy. This is the person that might have, even if they didn't walk away from you, it felt for some of you, it feels as though this person might have emotionally pulled away from you. So right now, there's a lot of things that they're putting into perspective here. Okay. And they feel as though, so they still feel very much emotionally connected to you, even though you feel as though they're acting cold or distance here, distant. They do care about you with the Queen of Pentacles. If it's a male, if it's a male energy here, then this energy here definitely, at one point in the connection, or they still may actually be seeing this, but they saw you as the, you know, the, the mother of their child. Okay. They saw you as this, and they still see you as this loving caring energy okay so this person's still building a life with you here so you guys have expressed your aff affection for one another here okay and i feel like this person still feels you you want them to step up that's what it feels like you want them to step up here there's a lot of fear in this person's energy and it's a fear of change Okay, it's a fear of change or it's a fear of, I'm getting a message like staying in a bad situation or staying in a stagnated kind of situation. Um, there's a transformation that this person must go through before they return back to you. Okay, and just like a caterpillar has to die before transforming into this beautiful butterfly, I also feel like this person here needs to transform his or her life in order for them to come back to you here. Okay, we all need to go... Uh, through a period of transformation through time um, through let me start again we all need to go through a period of transformation from time to time okay um, and I feel like this person here the reason why this person has pulled away or disconnected from you because I'm seeing that that transformation that's happening around that energy that transformation from you know the caterpillar to the butterfly that's a journey that they must take alone so perhaps the it's the universe here okay and don't get mad at the universe because at the end of the day it, it's doing everything in its power to you know to make sure that things are happening for you and not to you but maybe it was the universe that orchestrated this period of disconnection or this period of separation here because I feel like it's almost like the universe is trying to communicate hey this individual needs to do some inner work before you guys truly come back together and you know build each other up here because I'm seeing that this person needs to they're dissatisfied with something in their life right now and the energy is in a lot of conflict here when they think about you this person has a lot of feelings for you, but I'm not sure that they're expressing those feelings and I'm not sure that they're expressing it in terms of words or even in terms of actions. There's a lot that's going on with this person's energy that they first need to take a look at here. Um, so this person feel, thinks the world of you, okay? And I feel like that this person has put a lot of their time as well, a lot of their time and their energy into this connection. And they truly, you know, at one point in their time, and I feel like they still do, they see a future with you. And I do see that there's going to be that divine reconnection, that divine union, reunion, sorry, that divine orchestration here that's happening for you. But it's important for you to... You know, let the universe here work its magic. Because I, I am seeing that there's going to be this, even though this person has pulled away, there is still an emotional thread that connects the two of you together. But as I've mentioned, that journey that they're embarking on right now, that's a journey that they must take on their own here, okay? Because as I've mentioned earlier, it's a period of transformation. So next time you see them, they're not going to be this caterpillar that you met. They're going to be transformed into this butterfly, okay? And yes... If they've said anything hurtful or spiteful to you here, understand that your person's energy is hurting right now. So they're projecting that hurt onto you. So do not try to personalize the pain, guys, because at the end of the day, it's more about them and what they're feeling, okay? The, the hurt that they're feeling than it is about, you know, what you're doing here. So try not to personalize it. All right, guys, and these are your messages. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to share your feedback and please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, for any future guidance for those of you that do want a personal tarot reading feel free to reach out i will list my email address just below the video otherwise bye for now